I actually had the thought of like, why not make some new assets? And then I remembered the fact that, of course, it's the same apocalypse, so all the same movies will have been the new movies, no matter how much time passes in the apocalypse. You still saving up for that vacation? Every penny. You? Every penny. Hey, what did we end up picking? Uh, hello, surfing in LA? <laughs> That's right. Surfing in LA. Come on, let's keep going. Flashlights are interesting. I'm noticing that they, they, they shift to match your camera. Prioritizing gameplay over animation. Which is a surprise, because this is a subgenre that often prioritizes the animations looking good over basically everything else. But the one thing that they contradict is that the the light's just not not just sticking out of the front of my 3D mo uh, character model. Uh, it'll The actual light beam will point in whatever direction. Even if it's like 90 degrees off from the direction my character's torso is fading, facing as the light, which is where the light's located. You know, I got them back. Our water guns? Bullshit. You telling me Corporal Dickhead gave them back to you? Of course not. I had to sneak into his office. Riley, I had them in my hands. <laughs> but your ass got caught. But my ass got caught. <laughs> <laughs> What'd he do to you? Scrubbing duty for two weeks. Bathrooms. Oh, Ellie. I keep telling you to give up on them. They're never coming back. <sighs> They will be mine again. Uh Can I do that? Uh. Yeah. Wait, did she lie then? She said she got them back, but then she seems to very much have not got them back. She seems to have just momentarily touched them and completely failed to get them back. Ellie, are you lying? Are you doing lies? I can't believe Winston's gone. You heard? Yeah. Do you know how it happened? They said he just fell off his horse. Heart attack or something. Man. Well, how many people get to die of natural causes in this world? None that I know of. Exactly. So, let's see what he left us. Really? Silver, silver linings, huh? You managed to die of just dying like a normal person used to. What? Is this Winston? <laughs> Man, guy used to be handsome. Bingo. Want some? Sure. Watch out, that's not beer. Please. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, here. It's disgusting. Told you. Cheers, Winston. Ooh! That's strong. Come on. Family photos. Oh, they had a dog. He still kept up a... October 2013 calendar, huh? I wonder if that's just a character they made up, or if, like, a staff member of Naughty Dog died between the main game coming out and the DLC coming out. That could almost be, like, an excuse to have a little nod. Should be no surprise that I wonder about those things, because I was always wondering if the, uh, various people in the game... Uh, if all the photos we see are, are like, family photos or anything like that. So now I'm wondering, like, oh, specifically an off-screen dead, like, dead character we don't know about. Wonder if there's context for that, that development. What happened to Princess? I assumed after Winston died they took her. Poor horse. She's probably out there, terrified. Man. 
Uh, oh yeah, context for Ellie knowing how to ride horses. She just had skills already going into the game. Which you kind of would have to have to survive. Somehow none of them were swimming. Two children that didn't know how to swim. It's a mixed thing where one, the swimming is way more useful that for them than it is for people like me. Like in their setting. But it's also way more, it's probably way more dangerous to learn how to swim. Unless you're well to do enough to happen to live in some kind of area that has like guarded, safe water sources for swimming that are, don't have to be used for drinking and aren't, you're not going to be attacked while thrashing around like a lunatic half drowning and trying to figure out how the whole thing works which would be the fear of like trying to learn how to swim in the wild where there's zombies around and whatnot You know what? <laughs> How about we find another way? Yeah. <sighs> Sounds good. Always feels like you're gonna get crushed. Yeah, the fact that you have to physically lift it in order to open it in the first place kind of suggests that idea, don't it? Gotta go up here. Hey, Riley. You know what? I'll get you up and over. See if you can unlock it from the inside. Good call. Well, you see anything? Riley? Are you doing this again right now? <laughs> you dick! That's two times today! <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did we never find this place? Come on, I got the perfect mask for you. How did you find Riley, them so fast? Perfect. Oh, the wolf. God damn. Look, there's a witch. Ellie! Listen, you gotta stop jump scaring people. You're gonna get Bill Murrayed. You don't wanna get Bill Murrayed. Check it out. What is that, like a wolf man or something? Put it on. Yeah, bad ass. Now we are. Roar. Ellie, really? Fucking roar. <laughs> roar! <laughs> there she is. Now let's see what else this place has. It was a button mash quicktime event. You had to charge it up. <laughs> Man, look at all this stuff. Ask Skelliseer a question and shake for your fortune. Okay. Are we gonna die today? Nothing. What a chip. You gotta turn it over, genius. Oh. Seems dreadfully unlikely. Ah! Whew! What a relief. Oh. Here comes the dramatic irony. Am I ever gonna get to play a video game? Your chances are dismal. Fuck you, Skull. Will I drive a car again? I feel it in my bones. All right. <laughs> Am I ever getting boobs or what? The spirits are quiet. Ugh, of course they are. Are you a butt face? I am dead certain it is true. Well, that settles it then. 
Are we ever leaving this stupid quarantine zone? The answer is in limbo. So there's a chance. Will we ever get our water guns back? The spirit nods yes. Ah, you hear that? It says we're getting our water guns back. Let them go, Ellie. Let them go. What is the statistical likelihood of this? She is getting a different side of this dice every time. Will Riley ever stop sucking at poker? I can hear you, you know. The signs aren't clear. Up. Oh, there's still hope for you. Nope. I've given up on that. You can have poker. You can have poker. She got a different result every single time. That's hard. Uh, what is that? This. Probably a D10 or something? Will Ellie ever be as funny as me? Oh, please. I'm like 10 times funnier than you. He said, not in this existence. Hey, it was me. Skelliseer said it. Well, Skelliseer can suck my dick. <laughs> nice, Ellie. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. There's a lot going on in here. Oh, triple phoenix. How many masks can I pick from? Also, what's triple phoenix? What do you think? <laughs> Adorable. Why, thank you, kind pigeon. <laughs> wow, aren't we nightmares? Jesus. Oh, I will say, I don't know if it was wrong, though, actually. They said we won't die today. But I, I don't know if today's the day. Well, wait, she also said we. Which also muddies things further. Shit, maybe it's not, maybe it's not dramatic irony. Or, I don't know. People bought this stuff? <laughs> I don't get it. Listen, people used to have fun. Wait. Wow. That was stupid. <laughs> okay, that actually got me. You're going to get killed. You're so lucky I don't have a gun right now in this version. Like, that's really dangerous to do. In this setting. Cauldron of Shadows. True horror tales, fearful fables. Hey. One of my favorite jokes in Zombieland is how bad of an idea it is to do that in the in the zombie apocalypse. To like pretend to be a monster. In a situation where the only survivors are people who have honed their skills at at a reacting quickly to said monsters lethally oh that's a that's a nasty one detailed now we've got matching masks It's weirder when you're wearing that mask. Oh, there's the Nathan Drake costume. Ninja, assassin, werewolf, all the obvious ones. Oh, there's Jax. Jack X. Crash Bandicoot doesn't really have a tendency to make an appearance, does it? They reference... Yeah, there's Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2, Uncharted 2, Nathan Drake, Drake, adult costume. Oh, they mean it's for adults. I thought they were specifying that it's the adult costume. As in, like, it's adult version of Nathan Drake. Yeah, they, they keep, uh, Jack and Nathan keep showing up, but not... Not Crash. Cooler. 
Oh boy. <laughs> what? Vampires are like my thing. You're gonna say these masks are cooler than super low res. Can you tell? I am Count Dracula. What <laughs> actually Countess? I am Countess Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> what a visual. Just. They're so polygonal looking. Look, that, were that werewolf's way lamer than the one we saw upstairs. I mean, downstairs, or behind me, whatever. Fuck. <laughs> why, yeah, why is Crash snub? Do they not... They have the rights to it, because Crash... I, I heard you play a Crash Bandicoot game. I heard you play Crash Bandicoot during... Uncharted 4. What are you looking at? There's some friends of yours over here. What were you- oh, right. These mat- these- These little witches. Headstone, headstone, headstone places like a cemetery. Maybe the children's costumes. Oh, I thought this might be the children's costumes. It's just boxes. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's go. Are we just gonna commit to these masks now? Yeah, red one's yours, I'll be blue. We throw bricks. Whoever breaks all the windows to their car, wins. Are you kidding me? I'm like the brick master. <laughs> right. Loser has to answer a question. No sarcasm. <laughs> what is this, truth or truth? All right, fool, you're on. Oh boy. Uh, quickly. Yeah. Gonna beat you. Gonna beat you. Uh, first. Uh, oh, it doesn't go quite where you think it's gonna go. Yes. Brick, 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 brick. Brick, brick, brick. Yeah. All right. Shit, I have to get to the other side. Go, go, go. Oh, there's two more. Crash. And that's how you do it. Crash was a bad movie. Don't, don't talk about Crash. Yeah. Isn't that victory? Oh, Wait. Shit. Did I not win? Last one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, she's bad at this. She, yeah. she hasn't even gone around to the other side yet, so I'm good. Right, back window. Yes! Rick! Fucking master! My car had tougher windows. Yeah, whatever, loser. Alright, question time. I'm scared. So, what does Marlene say about my mom? Not much. I gathered that they were friends even before the outbreak. Oh, and she said your mom was a nurse. A nurse? Apparently they like argued and fought a lot, but they were close. Sound familiar? <laughs> right. Come on, let me show you this thing. We're almost there. Look at these. We have branching dialogue and choices. They're minor ones, but they exist, which is unusual for this developer. What are we doing here? The place is creeping me out. So, you know how we thought they only powered certain areas of the city? Yeah. Follow me. I'm getting real nasty pipe dream flashbacks looking at stuff around here, and I'm not psyched about it. Yeah, but there's stuff. You don't understand. You'll never understand. Mayor Banks, this will be my third request in as many weeks for additional patrols in my area. 
With the Hartford QZ falling apart, the city has been inundated with refugees, many of which are coming through the mall because of the lack of soldiers over there. These people are desperate, and in most cases, they enter the city infected. As you've seen from my reports, I have to neutralize the uh, three stage ones just last week. I realize resources are scarce, but if you if we don't get more security, I'm afraid that this mall will be overrun in a matter of fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, you're not going to listen to a word of this forever your lackey, Sergeant Winston Asher. Okay. That one took a turn. That one took a turn like a zombie. Oh yeah, there was fuck all in there. Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I like the idea of him realizing mid-letter that no one's going to read this and it's a waste of time. Uh, that's a that's a co-op door for later, isn't it? <laughs> Real spooky and dark around here. So turns out the whole city has power. <sighs> they just flip the circuit breakers. All you gotta do is flip it back. There's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Wait, so the whole mall is lit up? Let's go find out. Light as far Wait, as we can go? This? Wait, everywhere? I, I know what you're trying to do, and I'm really glad that you're not dead. I mean, I'm glad that we're back together, and- I didn't mean it. All that stuff I said before I left. I didn't mean any of it. Riley, you're such a sap. <laughs> Bet you started it. <laughs> oh man. Are you ready? Totally. <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course we're skipping back now. Hey, older Ellie. There's actually little hints there. The options were, why did you leave? Why did you lash out? And then you can ask about your mom and stuff like that. And I was, I was curious, but the fact that those questions existed at all hints towards the idea that they had a falling out, and that she didn't just disappear, but they had a fight when she disappeared and joined the fireflies. With supplies running low, Private Eugene, Ellis, and I entered the loading dock in hopes of procuring additional rations. We were caught off guard when a group of roughly half a dozen Stage 2s attacked us. We neutralized the threat, but not before Ellis was bitten. After a heated debate, where Private Ellis tried taking his own life, I incapacitated him. I then took it upon myself to break protocol. I isolated the infection with a tourniquet. I gathered and cleaned a surgical saw from the abandoned triage. I injected Private Ellis with morphine before amputating his arm several inches above the bite. I'm confident that once the Private regains consciousness, he'll be clear of the cordyceps infection. Captain Regan Francis. Ooh, we're going full Walking Dead. Where you try to save people from infection by amputating limbs. Mixed results there. People that followed that media... There's the, there's the really obvious example of someone having a limb amputated and, it, and being fine and all that, but there's other examples throughout the series of of people just bleeding out, as you'd kind of expect when you try something that extreme. We don't know if the Cordyceps virus works that way or not, though. Or how reasonably you could really cut it off in time. Oh, well now I want that food. Right, we're just gonna go back there and get it. I, it actually let me hop over. I didn't think it was gonna let me do that. 
I always wonder about that stuff. They talk about like stopping snake venom from reaching your heart and things like that. And I always wonder like how reasonable is that? I always kind of imagine your blood is moving relatively quickly through your body. It's hard to imagine being able to intercept blood that's going through your body already from getting to a specific location. It sounds unfeasible, but I don't fucking know shit, so there's that too. But it could be one of those things that's just uh, that's just invented for movies to be dramatic for all I know. Which is a thing that happens whenever you talk to anybody who deals with medical stuff, they seem to reinforce the idea that the way that, uh... the way that people, like, restart hearts and use the paddles and everything in movies is, like, basically fiction. And it's, like, the most generic doctor thing that happens in things with doctors in movies. And apparently it's just made-up nonsense and not how any of that really works. Actually, no, let's- no, stick with the bottle. I think the bottle's more distracting. And the brick's better at stunning. And usually the- usually the distraction was what, what I'm going for. Due to lack of weapons, I'm not really expecting to do a lot of, uh... ...stunning and then running up and attacking people or anything. Still can't craft a single thing. Oh, shit. Oh my god. I've had a gun this whole time. And boy, did I not, not realize that. Alright, I have four bullets. And sh- Look at that, a weapon sway. Which- <laughs> I'm realizing now that it, it goes back and forth on a U shape over and over again. And it just very, li very linearly increases its speed when you're moving. It's always the same U-shape, but it goes faster when you're walking and slower when you're not walking. Huh. Huh. You know, that's consistent and weird enough that... I can imagine, like, MLG players that are... They go way too far into this, uh, being really good at... At being so good at the weapon sway that, that it's like it's not... It's like it's not there. Because they know where it'll be mid-weapon sway in the aiming process. Hey, kitty! Hey, cats still exist. They didn't all die in the, the everything getting fucked problem. <laughs> Come on. All right. Oh boy. Oh, you can't go. For, you can't swim. Oh, God, it's freezing. oh, it's not that deep. You need to cool your shit, cat. Okay, no, it wasn't that deep. It might be, though. Oh, what if that's where we're going? Running into a situation where I can't traverse an area because Ellie can't swim. It's one of her specific character traits. There's no Joel to help. Or anyone. Special cola. Well, it can't be too deep around here, because those cars parked, and they're only a tire deep. Why am I not at full health? Could be Im implied leftover from the encounter when Joel was wounded. Ellie does take a hit from a pipe during that cutscene, and I don't think it's avoidable. I think that one dude hits him with hits her with a pipe and then she shoots him. When they're in like the lobby, right before they get out. <laughs> 